and we are at the wonderful Sir Thomas and Lady Dixon Park and we have come up especially for Rose Week. And these wildflowers are, are wonderful. And this is the beginning of the uh, rose gardens. So there's more wildflowers down here. Look at this. This is, this is, this is brilliant. They're absolutely fabulous. It smells it's lovely too. Named after the uh, TV program, isn't it? It smells gorgeous. It has a great smell. Mm -hmm. well, they get one of the best roses. And Rose Week has been running from 1964. <clears throat> and it's run by the Rose Society of Northern Ireland. And it's some operation. And here's a few plaques as regards uh, judging the trials. Rose Trial. And the judges are looking under the following categories Hybrid tea, Floribunda, Miniature Roses, Shrub Roses, Climbing Roses, Most Fragrant Rose. And they're judged over two seasons. 50 years of excellence. Concepts for the International Rose Trials and Display Garden were created by Sam McCready and Craig Wallace. I remember watching those boys on TV who founded the Rose Society of Northern Ireland in 1964. Sam McCready and his wife emigrated to New Zealand in 1972 and uh, they were a sad loss to Northern Ireland. And again, that is the Rose Walk. The Rose Walk is a pleasant stroll, approximately 1.1 miles. And thousands of people come from all of the, over the world for, um, to, to visit uh, for Rose Week. And the Rose Gardens here are some of the most renowned Rose Gardens in the world. Top rated. We're talking about 30,000 uh, blooms on display. Tanya, Tanya tells me that the smell is unbelievable here. Uh, unfortunately, I lost, <laughs> I lost my sense of smell. I don't know, but 15 years ago, so I can't smell anything, which is a wee bit unfortunate. But there you go. I can't have everything in life. And there's a rose called Spectacular, and this. This is spectacular. <laughs> and the bees round here must think that they've arrived in heaven. There's a lovely orange rose. Like that. Oh, look at this. Wouldn't you love to have this in your back garden? And the amount of time and effort that has been put into this. Yes, I was, I was just looking at the, that. That is beautiful.
This fellowship seems to be pretty popular. Yeah. I've seen it in, in quite a number of beds. Mandarin. So many different names. Yes, climbing roses. Yes. Hybrid tea rose trials. So there's there's different mm -hmm. varieties. Uh, different varieties. Princess Diana Memorial Garden. Mm -hmm. There's the Belfast Bell. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. It's a, quite a, a substantial head on that rose. It's lovely. Nice to see Princess Diana being remembered in this way. I think she would have approved. White roses were Diana's favourite flower. And we think that these roses here were named after Princess Diana. And various climbing roses here again. We think that this one's called American Pillar. And quite a substantial bunch of flowers on the end blooming there. And for the rose grower, this is simply heaven. The rose grower, grower aficionado. That's beautiful. Massive head on uh, this one here. Massive. Parole from Germany. And just one layout runs into another layout. We're, we're, we're just marvelling at the different names here. Here's Vivian Westwood. And just in the next bed is Pride and Prejudice. Would Mr. Darcy approve? And it's just, where, where do they come up with the names? They're serious, isn't isn't serious? Uh, serious is a a planet, is it? Not too sure. Wild rover. Wild rover. That sounds good to me. And there's a, a wild ro wasp around it. It's called after you. Uh, named after me. That's as close as I'm going to get. Nobody's going to name a rose after me. Well, this is the wild rover. I'm quite a tall rose. And vanilla twist is in beside it. Look at the amount of blooms. <laughs> this one's here's another one named after me. The, the odd fellows rose. <laughs> that is brilliant. Brilliant. A, a rose grower there has a sense of humour.
summer sun. Hey, it, it, it does does look like a different mix. Not surprised at that. You really must come here if you're interested in gardening or roses. You really must come here. And this is not just confined to Rose Week. There's Cherry Girl. This you can come the week after and the week after because they're they're still going to be here. This is Glidenstein Castle from Denmark. And it's quite a quite a full head on it. Beautiful. And this is Encanto. And it's quite a traditional Irish look about it. It's almost like a wild hedge ro ro yeah. Yeah. rose. Yeah. That's beautiful. Very delicate. This is like a a dog rose, and the bees the bees love it. There's there's a honey bee. Must be a hive nearby. Those are those are really really beautiful. The wonders of nature. And some of these roses have an an amazing scent. This is lilac wine, and look at that. Look at the intricacy of the petals and the petals are, are, are so soft to the touch and there's me wrecking them look at the intricacy of that look at, look at the head it's like it's like a, a, a And this is another plot of roses. Absolutely beautiful. And as Elvis Costello sang, it's been a good year for the roses. And unfortunately poor old Elvis Costello is not doing too well. I think he has uh, he's struggling with with cancer. Very very good song actually. Apple Jack. Apple Jack. Dolly Parton I think sang about Apple Jack. This is Shona. I think we have a girl in our church called Shona. <laughs> but but we haven't got anybody in the church called Sexy Rexy. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> and if we had, they probably would be banned. Yes, I've seen Matchmaker further back there. So maybe there's there's one uh, called New Horizon. Singularly Marlene. There is the Duke of Hamilton. There's Dawn Chorus for the bird watchers. <laughs> Isn't she lovely? Oh, uh, who sang that? Isn't she? Uh, 
Oh boy, so I can't remember. I should know that, isn't she? Though? No, it wasn't. It wasn't Lala, Lionel Richie, no. It was Stevie Wonder. Stevie it was Wonder. Stevie Wonder sang, isn't she lovely? I wonder does he know about this rose? <laughs> Stevie Wonder. And that's not a tall story. A lot of the... the good way to propose. Good way to propose, that's Bar right. Bare a rose. Come and nick one from here and present it to your intended. That's called Marry Me. One for all you Christian folk who are watching this. This one's called Salvation. Let's get a, a look at one of the heads. There you go. That's a, a biblical rose. And we're going away up onto the top of the hill here. This one's called Wee Cracker and reminiscent of, of the bell Frank Carson. One of my favourite comedians of all time. This is the McCartney Rose and it's a winner too. It's second on my bloom list. We're trying to find a bloom. Now, I don't know if it's named after the bell Paul McCartney or not, but I presume so. This is the uh, George Best Rose. Dedicated to George. I've just entered the winner's enclosure here. Uh, people have entered these roses and they're all on display and there's cacti on display and all sorts. Six minutes your rose is one variety. There's the second place and there's the first place. And you've got to give a huge pat in the back to Belfast City Council. Because they've put on a, a huge spread here. And all of all the sponsors as well. And and there's the, the bouncy castle and all the rest of it for the youngsters. And there's more and more and more here. And this is Newton Ard's Silver Band. Great show. Something for everybody. Strawberries and cream up here. 
and all sorts of perfumes and nice things, plants. And look at this amazing display here. Wow.